Hey guys, thanks for tuning in and checking out the video part of my blog. And in this section, what I'm going to do every week, I'm going to show you a different entrepreneur, a different, uh, different kind of professional with a different kind of mindset. We're going to talk about his story. Sometimes it's inspiring. Sometimes it's about the greatest failure in the world. Either way, you're going to learn. You're going to constantly learn watching this vlog. Okay. Today I want to introduce Jacob, and Jacob's, up, Jacob's in the digital world, and if you've ever downloaded a game on the App Store or Android Store or whatever it is you use, odds are you've played one of his games. Jacob, take it away. Thank you. Um, not sure how much to tell about myself. <laughs> I'm 26, living here in Bangkok. I've uh, been in Thailand for five, six years. Uh, this is my second sort of startup uh, to do the game sign. Uh, but before that, I did another startup called PageMoto, which was basically doing custom Facebook pages and uh, sold that and started investing into different Thai startups, one of them actually being Pocket Data. Um, yeah, I can go further into that. We started a few years ago. Uh, took over a team of 13 game developers at that time I was doing games for Facebook, transactioned all that into actually games uh, for mobile and focusing on that. Then later uh, we moved into some Facebook canvas as well, so our game, the most popular one at the moment is Juice Cubes, got published by Robio as well, um, and growing in the numbers. You guys all know Robio if you've played Angry Birds before, so they know about success. Uh, guys, check out this game, Juice Cubes. How many downloads do you have? There's a bit over 20 million downloads on that. So, and that's around the world, I think we have maybe 70% of the users in Asia and the rest in US and Europe, but of course the US and Europe monetize a lot more, and we are still doing aggressively uh, marketing a new market as well to, to gain that number up. So I hope that the number will double this year. Do, do you know the stats of how many users it takes to start monetizing in Asia versus, say, the States? So we calculate everything based on CPI, that's cost per install. Mm -hmm. uh, if you look at Thailand, you can get them from 10 cents. In the US, when we do aggressive campaigns, it's, it's over $2 that we pay for one user. Uh, we end up with 5-6% of them actually paying, because the game is free to download, and then you have the in-app purchases that then uh, further on can help you to continue the game. You can play the full game for free, but if you want some help or running out of moves in it, uh, you can buy like extra packages to help you further. And a lot of people compete with their friends uh, and want to give you better yeah, than sure. If I small hints, yeah, sure. Go. That's cool. Okay, I need to ask you two questions. First, what was your biggest failure? Biggest failure? Monumental. I yeah, I, um, I had a few in this company as well. Uh, I think the biggest ones we had here, like, I'll be honest and say that when I sold my old startup, I got into everything I touched will turn into gold. Because I had more money than all my friends, everything was just awesome, so let's just do that gaming thing, let's get a game out, we'll be successful, it will be perfectly. The first game we made was a complete disaster, like uh, it was called Trust the Teacher. In development, we had the different, uh, like the art and development team separated, so they didn't work it good enough together. And the game ended up out with 80% of the content that we created for it never got into the game, because it just crashed on all units. Uh, and then second after that we did another one called Lost Cubes. People loved it and they got good reviews on it, but it didn't monetize. So a big failure in that was that I think we spent $40,000 on marketing on one day and it took, and that game made after one year around 25. And that was money that we at that point didn't have because uh, my partner Thomas and I ran the Pocket Play Lab for around one and a half year at that point, paying 20 people out of our own pocket, could suddenly see that, okay, the end is coming near. Uh, so sure. spending that money at the point where we didn't have them, sure. in the hope for it to be good, was a complete disaster. And how many downloads did that game have? 
Uh, we crossed a little bit over a million. So it's not always the downloads that makes it successful. Exactly. Like, and that's what I normally start preaching now is that we started out looking, how do we get a top 10 game uh, in the top 10 downloaded list? Like, how do we get there? And try to make games to get there. But what we learned was that even if you're in top 10 download, it doesn't mean that you make money. So you should start looking at the top 10 grossing. Like, how do we get there? How do all those games get up? Because not all the games in the top grossing are actually... Uh, getting downloaded that much. So you just need a game that will monetize, that the users enjoy and they would like to spend money in because then you can start to spend on marketing. I always say that you should kill the viral flappy prepared god that makes your game viral because it just doesn't exist anymore in the same amount that it did before. Like our partners at Rovio did Angry Birds where you they popped up to the top and done that every single time that they release an Angry Birds game because they now have such a strong brand. But without anything bad being said about it, if they did the same today with a fake download, it would never have gotten as far. So the markets are just changing. Uh, people should focus on monetization. Where do you see the market heading? Where do you see it being in the next six months? So in the next six months, I uh, like we are very heavily on the match fee title. Uh, that's the, to explain a little bit, that's when you actually have three colors that are the same, that connects. Ours are more drawing style, other examples are Candy Crush, uh, Farm Hero Saga, a lot of the others. So we will try to continue in the match three market. What we can see is that, of course, freemium already took over, so all games coming out now are free. There's a few, like, Pre, uh, and premium apps that are still gaining to be successful, but uh, the free games will take over and it will change the market because it changes how you make games completely. So we're sitting in a very cool office space, very funky office space. What was the mindset building this? This is very Googleist. Yeah. So after a recent success, we were like, we need to have the best people we can find. We need to hire a lot more because now we need to be able to put down a plan of what do we want to do the next three years and how can we make that successful. Uh, so we built this office by making people both in here, having fun being creative, but also to recruiting, uh, to get people to come in and like, wow, these guys know what they're doing. And it works very well. Like we also have our play space with events, like we had Unity, Adobe coming in and we can drag the entire crowd from town to come in and make our office like the center of the gaming in, in the region. Uh, so that's what we're trying to do. Any, we're going to close out now, but any inspiring words for any tech entrepreneurs that are diving into the mobile gaming business? What would your, what would your number one piece of advice be? I know that it's kind of an old way of saying it, but fail a lot. Like, a lot jump into the gaming industry by thinking, yeah, just make this one game and it would be awesome. But every single one in every single company always figure out that you learn so much from the first few games that you're doing that will make your third or your fifth or your fiftieth game a lot better. So try something small. Don't go in and make a big game from the start because you will end up burning all your money and, and all your passion to do games. So do a few games, get them out, uh, and then do the real one that you can actually monetize on. You heard it here first, folks. All right. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you soon.